Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the glass on your oven so you can clean it. Here you can see I got these streaks going down the middle. I think my son made some hot chocolate or something and ended up on the inside of the glass. There's several panes of glass there, not just one. I don't know how well this will show up, but you can kind of see there's layers of drip marks here. And uh, so we've got to get inside. I like to leave the door on when I clean the glass, but if you want to take it off, there's a latch here on this hinge and a latch here. And uh, you can close the door to about like that and then grab the sides and lift up. But the reason why I don't like to do that is because this can be kind of a pain to get back in and out. And I don't find that it actually saves me any time removing this door. Now this is a Whirlpool brand, but a lot of the other models are the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off these two top screws. And I have to hold this because not only will the handle come off, these sides will come off and the glass on the front is going to fall. So I got the whole thing here. I'm going to take out this one. And this side. Just two screws. Okay, and you can see this whole thing's coming undone. I'm going to grab this and take it off. And if you need to clean, uh, if you need to clean that, now's a good time to do that as well. And just lift this up. And out of the way. And it's got these two little side pieces here. I'll just take those off. So these four screws that we're going to take out are different than the first two. So you want to keep them separate and remember um, not to try and put them in the wrong holes. Also if you're wondering where I got this, it's 10 bucks from Ikea. It's really handy and a, a great deal. So. I'm going to hold the bottom again so nothing falls. Now you can separate this. Now this part right here isn't going to come off. It's still attached uh, to some screws there. It's not worth taking off because I can access the glass inside here. Um, this, if you're wondering, is just regular fiberglass insulation. You want to not move it around too much. It's okay to touch. It's not a big deal. You don't really need a mask or anything. Some people worry about that. Okay, so I can open this up and uh, Get my knee here and pop out these two sheets of glass. Do the top one first. And then I can get the bottom one out. And if your frame is nasty, you can clean this up as well. So this is um, the inside of the oven glass. And this one's going to be a bit harder to clean because um, food bits bake on just like the inside of your oven. So it's going to be a good idea if you're cleaning this uh, to use oven cleaner because it's going to be harder to clean. And then I'm going to spray this stuff on here as well. And uh, I assume most people watching this have used oven cleaner before. If you haven't, uh, you just let this stuff sit. That's how it works. You don't really scrub too much. It might take a little bit of scrubbing if you want to speed it up. But you just put on a good, good glob of it and uh, just let time take care of the rest. So I'll come back to this later after this has done its job. I'm going to use a razor blade to scrape off some of this crud at the bottom. And it'll save me a lot of time rather than waiting for the cleaner to soak into that.
And uh, I probably don't have to tell you how to clean glass. I hope not, but this stuff's pretty good if you've never had this before. It doesn't have all that blue dye and some uh, soapy stuff that uh, Windex seems to have. Here, if you look at the oven handle, there's some parts here on the, there's like a vent that's hard to clean while it's off, but it looks nasty. I mean, you can see this from, you know, normal use. So now that it's off, I'm gonna use some of this uh, foaming degreaser. Gets down there in the cracks. Let that sit, and then I can use a toothbrush here Spray it, and then I'll take it to the sink. Okay, this has been sitting for about 10 minutes. Let's see how it cleans up here. That's nice. Okay, I got the glass. And uh, you might find that a lot of these little black bits don't want to, uh, don't want to come off. Yeah, these are really stuck on. There you go. You can see these black bits here. If I just use a razor blade, I can scrape most of them off. That makes it a little bit quicker to clean. And you can use a razor blade if you're impatient and you just don't want to wait for the oven cleaner to work. Otherwise the oven spray will work just fine if you just give it enough time. Okay, once you feel like you got the glass clean enough, you can go ahead and start putting it back in. I just have it on the trays there, it's an easier way to hold it. bottom piece first and uh, I can see it's pinching a little fiberglass I'm going to push that out of the way okay now the metal frame gotta love that sound And once you get the bottom one in, again, check for a fiberglass coming out in the way. Push it back. And uh, look for dust or debris that might have fallen off onto the glass. Let me get a rag here. Second piece of inside glass. Use my knee and lay it inside the metal frame. Done. And okay, now my screws. And like I said, these are the four screws that go around uh, this side here. Okay, got one in, and what I'm going to do is tighten them all at once. So I'll put the screw in it first, so I can get the holes lined up on all sides. Otherwise, if you put in one screw and tighten it, you make it sometimes harder for the next screws to go in, because you can't move the uh, parts around. There we go. So I put in all four by hand and I'll just tighten it. Okay, 
before you put this main piece of glass on, you can wipe this off and make sure nothing got caught on there one last time. And this goes in this little slot at the bottom. It's going to be pretty easy. It doesn't really take much explanation. If yours is this model, um, the metal goes on top of it, so it's kind of like a finger, a couple fingers going down on both sides. So you got to get the front and the back. Don't forget to put these plastic pieces on, if yours has this kind as well. Okay, this is a little bit of a balancing act to put the handle back on. These things like to flick out. Um, when you're putting on this handle piece, it's got this, um, again, another lip that the glass slides into. So. If you're having trouble putting on your glass, I mean your handle, there we go. Be sure to use your knee on this. There we go, slip that in. Plastic pieces go on the inside. There we go. And it all should be pretty tight. You shouldn't feel anything moving. You know, nothing's for trying to force its way back out. So, do the screw there. And the last one here. That's it. It looks miles better than it did before. I hope that's helped. If so, please click like and subscribe for more how-to videos like this. Also, if you want to support this channel, there's a support button on uh, the About page. And uh, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.